ammonia. This is a lab that you're going to run often. You're going to see often because it plays a very important role in understanding liver function. It can also play a role in uh, renal function. And then we're also going to see it in, in neuro function. Okay. So ammonia is incredibly interesting and in its normal range for adults, conventional units is 19 to 60. Okay, SI units is 11 to 35. So you'll probably see conventional units is going to be 19 to 60. Now, the reason I think this is such an interesting lab value, okay, is because it really plays a role in many parts in the body, okay? So ammonia is essentially the byproduct of protein metabolism, okay? So we intake protein. That protein is then broken down into ammonia, and then that ammonia is, is converted, basically, in the blood to urea, okay? So that ammonia turns into urea, which is kind of a byproduct of, of also a protein metabolism. Okay, and so that's where we come up with blood urea nitrogen, right? And we use the, the blood urea nitrogen to determine renal function, but we use ammonia to determine liver function, okay? So ammonia is kind of the, the precursor to urea. All right, so does that make sense? We take in protein, protein turns into ammonia, ammonia is then converted to urea, and that urea is then excreted by the kidneys if everything works appropriately. So we take that one step back. If our BUN is elevated, then our kidneys are not able to excrete all that urea, right? For, for one example. And so that's going to be a reason for our elevated BUN. Now we take that one more step back, and if our ammonia is elevated, then something's happening within our liver. Our liver is not able to get that ammonia into urea and get it out. Okay, so what are some reasons we're going to see this elevated? Well, it's going to be elevated in advanced liver disease. Okay, so if we have issues like uh, cirrhosis or hepatitis or, or issues that are affecting our liver, then we're going to see elevated levels of ammonia, right? We're not able to make that conversion. It's also really helpful when we run this lab to check for a reason of, of hepatic encephalopathy. Okay, what's hepatic encephalopathy? Well, ammonia can be very detrimental to our central nervous system. If ammonia levels get high enough, they can actually send the patient into very decreased uh, neurostatus, okay? So what will happen is we'll have to give like lactulose, which will help us, which will bind ammonia to stool, okay, and get it out through our GI tract. And that will then bring down our ammonia levels and get the patient back to a normal functioning neural status, hopefully. So it can be helpful running ammonia to see, okay, are we getting to a, a hepatic encephalopathy? It's also really helpful in monitoring treatment for hepatic encephalopathy. Is the treatment working? An ammonia level can be really helpful also if for patients who are receiving TPN, where we can see, okay, how effective is this TPN and, and the, the, the formula that we're giving them. Now, when we, when we draw our ammonia lab, it's going to go into a green top, okay, a five mil green top tube, and it needs to be sent to the lab on ice, and the level needs to be run quickly, okay? We need to run this within like 20 minutes because uh, ammonia levels can increase in a blood specimen, okay? So it's important to put it on ice, we get it to the lab, have it run very quickly so that we don't have falsely elevated ammonia levels. Okay, that's a really brief overview of ammonia, but what I want you to do and what I would suggest you do is you draw kind of the body and you draw protein coming in, gets turned into ammonia, gets turned into urea, and, and kind of where failures in the system are going to occur to either cause your urea to be elevated or your ammonia to be elevated, and understanding that's going to help you understand liver disease as well as kidney disease, okay? Now, remember our ammonia level, conventional units we're looking for levels about 19 to 60, and our SI units about 11 to 35 in adults.